Well, Mary was unquestionably the region most interested in undergraduate instruction and the whole undergraduate experience. She just spent a lot of time acquainting herself with the views and concerns of students. Our task was to figure out how to take the great strengths of a research university and turn that to the undergraduate experience. In one way, it's a global statement that we're making ab about who we are as an undergraduate institution and who we are as a university, that we care deeply about the undergraduate experience here. My name is Alex Zhang. I'm a Mary Gates Research Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Honors Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Research Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Research Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Honors Scholar. I am a Mary Gates Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Research Scholar. I am a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Research Scholar. We are Mary Gates Venture Scholars. I'm a Mary Gates Honor Scholar and two times Research Scholar. I'm a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar. The Mary Gates Endowment requires that a student move themselves to a high level of learning, then in companionship with a faculty member, develop a special project to which they would like to dedicate their own time. One of the greatest aspects of the Mary Gates grants is that there's an aspect of mentorship. Um, usually for your research project you need a research mentor and for your leadership project you need a leadership mentor. So they're making sure that throughout the process you have somebody who is overseeing what you do and these are usually people that inspire you. It's a lovely moment to have someone come into your office really excited about this thing they want to do and they want you to help them uh, to go along on that journey with them. It's, it's very rewarding to have that situation where you can, you can really um, bring this other person up to a new level where they can accomplish things. That in itself is transformative because you learn you learn about what your potential is as a person, what you can do. Through the Mary Gates process, I was actually kind of able to like construct a concise um, aim of where I wanted to go with my leadership skills and tap into them. I think the Mary Gates program with research, with leadership, and especially the um, venture scholarships, they're really encouraging people who are thinking outside the box. Students now at the University of Washington, knowing that they have this opportunity, simply believe they can do it. And believing they can do it has had a, a, a very profound effect on, on the ambition of our students. It makes me think of what I would like to do, but thought, you know, was not possible. These scholarships um, open up sort of cr more creative and risk-taking kinds of research projects that I don't think we would have thought undergraduates could do. I was a freshman when I started research, which I think is pretty unprecedented if you go to a different university. People support the work that you're doing, and to me that really has served to be an incentive to continue and to work even harder. The reason why I even came to UW in the first place is because we have so much undergraduate research. It really feels good to know that someone is paying attention to what these 40,000 undergraduates are doing here at the University of Washington. The message that the, the UW sends supporting student research tells me that UW values research, especially it values student research, it values undergraduate research, and that's something that you don't find in a lot of other schools. I'm working with a group called Students for Equal Health to raise awareness on global health and underserved issues in our community. My project is a robotic suit for paralyzed people so they can walk again. I'm applying bioengineering principle to ophthalmology. My project is the Native American Nursing Project. I hope to create a positive impact on the future of energy systems for urban centers. The goal of the project is to try and understand uh, climate change on the ancient earth. We are creating our own interdisciplinary collaborative art performance piece between music, dance, drama, and English departments. My project was to reactivate the Laotian Student Association. My project right now is about philosophy and human rights. My second project that I'm currently working on is to raise awareness about immigration issues on campus, and I work at Refugee Women's Alliance. It's an incubator model for how maybe we should be 
providing educational opportunities for undergraduates. Experience the learning you've been doing. Apply the learning you've been doing and make a difference in the world as an undergraduate. Being able to see a project from the beginning to the end and know that it is, has mostly come of your own efforts is really rewarding. It's like this huge package that just brings in so many um, new opportunities for you, but that also reinforces your belief in yourself in thinking about, okay, well, th this might actually be worthwhile, and this is something that I can expand on, and I should think about other ways, and just knowing that there are other people out there who are like, yeah, go for it, makes you think, okay, well, what else can I do? It made me think, like, not as a student, but as a person trying to make a difference, uh, either for myself or for the community. It's definitely personally enabled me to do things I never even knew to dream about. Marigate's Leadership Endowment actually gave me the opportunity to, to go after my dreams, and I could always say that I'm a Marigate Scholar, and that's a great thing for me, because I never thought I could ever be anybody like that. Being a Mary Gates Leadership Scholar has meant the world to me. It really changed me because I realized that I myself could be a leader and change somebody's life. It was perhaps the most memorable experience in my life. So the scholarship enables me to immerse myself as fully as possible in academics so that everything I do is connected back to my field of study. Getting the Mary Gates Scholarship was like getting a sign of support from the University of Washington. We have a motivation to keep going in our fields and to achieve all that we can achieve now and in the future. The Mary Gates Endowment has been very powerful in extending leadership opportunities for students and getting students uh, to have an impact locally, globally, and internationally. It impacted uh, my future aspirations and goals and um, my values as a world citizen. All of us, whether it's scientific research, or somewhere in the arts or in the environment are all making a difference and there's a thread between each one of us of a kind of leadership that we are that we've developed through the Mary Gates program. We have gone much farther than any of us could have imagined we've gone in uh, terms of uh, inspiring the faculty and inspiring our students to do their very very best work. I can assure you that some of the beneficiaries of this endowment are future faculty members, there are future researchers, there are future scientists, there are future leaders in this, in this community. And we'll hear from them again, and, and we'll hear from them as ambassadors for the very endowment that cultivated these opportunities for themselves. And they will now become the ambassadors for the next generation of students. So 10 years from now, you can imagine that it will be one of the very students who was a beneficiary 10 years ago, five years ago, perhaps this year, who will now be the young scholar that we've in fact recruited back to this institution to carry out that legacy of Mary Gates. Mary was always around to remind us why we were there in the first place. Students.